On June 10th, 1886, Mount Tarawera, a prominent volcano in New Zealand's North Island, erupted in one of the most catastrophic geological events in the country's recorded history. The catastrophic eruption not only marked New Zealand's most significant volcanic event in over 500 years, but also led to the creation of the Waimangu Volcanic Rift Valley, a unique geological and ecological wonder. Mount Tarawera is situated within the Okatana Volcanic Centre, part of the larger Taupo Volcanic Zone. This zone is a highly active rhyolitic area, with several caldera systems formed over hundreds of thousands of years. Mount Tarawera itself is a rhyolitic dome complex, which began forming approximately 23,500 years ago. In the months leading up to the eruption, there were signs of increasing geothermal activity. Notably, the geyser at the top of the white terrace experienced unusually large eruptions. We did a video on the white and pink terraces, and you can find that in the description down below. The eruption commenced in the early hours, around 2am, with a series of over 30 earthquakes. These were followed by a massive explosion, marking the beginning of a six hour long cataclysm. The eruption was characterized by Plinian and Pelian styles, with the volcanic explosivity index of five. A fish event approximately eight kilometers long opened along the mountain, starting from the Wahanga Dome. This vent extended across Mount Tarawera, with multiple fountains of lava and ash erupting simultaneously. The eruption's most intense phase occurred when the expanding rift reached Lake Rotomahana, causing a massive explosion as the lake water contacted the magma. The eruption's immediate impact was the formation of a 17 km long rift across Mount Tarawera and the surrounding area. This hydrothermal system encompasses Lake Rotomahana, the former site of the pink and white terraces, and is home to several unique geothermal features, including Frying Pan Lake, the world's largest hot spring and Inferno Crater Lake, the largest geyser-like feature in the world. This rift was the surface manifestation of a basaltic dike, a significant departure from the usual rhyolitic eruptions of the area. The eruption ejected approximately two cubic kilometers of tephra, reshaping the landscape dramatically. The famed pink and white terraces, silica-based Sinta terrace formations, were destroyed. Lake Rotomahana expanded significantly, filling parts of the newly formed rift valley. The eruption claimed about 120 lives, making it the deadliest volcanic event in New Zealand's history. Villages near the mountain were buried under volcanic ash and mud. The loss of the pink and white terraces, a major tourist attraction, was a significant cultural and economic blow. The 1886 eruption prompted immediate geological studies, leading to new insights into the volcanic activity of the region. It was the first time a basaltic dike was identified as the cause of an eruption in an area typically known for rhyolitic activity. This discovery challenged previous understandings and highlighted the complex volcanic nature of the Taupo Volcanic Zone. Today, the 1886 eruption of Mount Tarawera is remembered as a pivotal event in New Zealand's geological and cultural history. It serves as a stark reminder of the power of nature and the need for ongoing research and understanding of volcanic systems. The event continues to be a subject of study for geologists worldwide, offering insights into volcanic behavior and hazard management. Thanks for watching.